So guys, this is your international fan reaction for Wolf Nil Brighton 3. The guys have a little bit to say. Hey Dave, Wolfman Jeff here on the porch. And uh, it ain't good, Dave. That was, I uh, think, the worst performance we've had under Bruno. Um, one of the worst performances we've had since we've been back in the Premier League. Honestly, that was not a Premier League level performance. That's Championship, if not League One. That was That's how dreadful it was. Dave, we forgot how to play football. We forgot the basics. Now, we've been struggling all season with our front line and trying to uh, uh, finish and to get people in place uh, to, uh, to finish chances, but our back line collapsed. And that is not Wolves. That's not been Wolves. Uh, yes, I know Kilman's out, but the rest of these, uh, the other three who played were our bread and butter main back line for years, and they forgot how to play. Uh, some of the other ones were, maybe have come back too early. Um, Neves, I don't think he was quite ready to play. Reinhardt Nuri wasn't 100%. Um, to be honest, um, when Neto came off, he was the only spark outside of Saw. Um, it's, it's, it was unacceptable. Dave, if, uh, if this keeps up, I don't know. It's uh, I'm very frustrated. And the real test, Dave, is going to be this summer. What is Jeff Shee? What are Fosun going to do for the club? Because we got to add not just unproven kids. Uh, we need to add serious players to fill in these holes. And for the rest of the season, get back to basics. And, and it doesn't have to be exciting, entertaining football, but it's got to be solid. They got to play like pros. It was unprofessional. This is Wolfman Jeff pouting on the porch. Hey Dave, David New York Wolves here. Uh, I am in Paris um, with the Arc de Triomphe right behind me. And uh, Wolves seem a long, long way away from the Triomphe anytime soon. I think that's what, four defeats out of five, maybe five out of six. Uh, we're just in an awful vein of form. And uh, for the first time in many years today, I didn't get to watch the match. It wasn't showing in any of the pubs in Paris and I couldn't find a decent Wi-Fi connection to watch it on my phone. So uh, I listened to Mikey Burrows and Lee Naylor and Andy Thompson on the commentary and from everything I've heard and read afterwards, I think I'm actually glad I didn't get to watch it because it sounded absolutely bloody awful. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. You know, it's not like we don't have anything to play for. Uh, we, I suppose, still are in with the shout of Europe. I don't really hold any hope out of that. But certainly before today, and before Newcastle and, and the, the, the horrible games before that, um, we absolutely were in with a shout of six. It's not that long ago we were in with the shout of the, the Champions League. So why the players lose motivation and go flat, I, I don't really understand. Um, I did notice, I saw somebody say, somebody was kind of criticizing the players for being very lackluster. And someone said, well, the crowd wasn't very up for it today either. And I have to say, I noticed that. Uh, normally, I don't really notice the crowd as much, but when you're just listening to the audio, you really hear how quiet the crowd was. And normally Molyneux is absolutely rocking at the start, and sure, you know, if we go a couple of goals down or we're not playing well, everything gets quiet, that's understandable. But it seemed like the crowd was really quiet from the start, which is really strange. So it's just a bit of a, a, a weird situation at Molyneux at the moment, you know. We, we've probably done better than we would have thought of at the beginning of the season with all the changes. Um, and it's just like a weird, weird situation with, you know, we're kind of going to do well to hold on to eighth at this point, uh, even though we're still within touching distance of Europe. Uh, and with all the rooms about Neves and what's going on with Traore and, you know, Matunio out of contract. I don't know. It's just a, a weird time to be a Wolves fan. But uh, hopefully... Chelsea are next up, uh, and then Norwich, Man City, no, Chelsea, Man City, Norwich, and then Liverpool. Um, and you know how Wolves are. If we're going to win any of those games, it's probably not going to be the one against Norwich. It'll be against the top three, right? So, uh, hey, you know, we're still in the Premier League, heading into our, uh, this our fifth straight season, uh, which is pretty damn good. Times are still good. Um, it's, uh, it's hard to be a Wolves fan sometimes, but, uh, 
it's uh hey we're still Wolves fans who cares um and i'm glad you got to uh, meet my mate andy today he gave you the badge the, the pin badge from new york Wolves. so uh i hope you treasure that and i will be sending you a message from chicago in a couple of weeks there's a meetup of um north america Wolves fans there uh, the, for the Norwich game. So uh, if I don't send you one before then, I will send you one then. And I will talk to you soon. See you, mate. Hi, everyone. It's Esa from Palma here. So interesting first half. It took a while for us to get into the match. And as soon as we got into the game, we started to foul. Fouling around, handballs, two penalties in half an hour. So all in all, we could have stayed on the bench today. I didn't see a single shot on target, uh, not a single attempt, and we literally dropped nine points out of nine um, to Newcastle, Brighton, and Burnley. Today, Brighton deserved to win because we didn't play at all. Weak in defense, soft in the middle, the attacking was like extremely poor, as always lately. Um, I usually say head up to the next one and let's hope for the three points. But we're facing Chelsea in a week and we can't beat Brighton at home, so let alone Chelsea away. Um, yeah, no more hoping for points uh, because apparently we don't need points. But we do like to do charity in Wolverhampton, so we're donating points to those in need, including teams in relegation zone. Uh, this is ridiculous, really. It seems like the team does not want Europa League. We do want Europa League. They don't. So they just like to run on the pitch, like, yeah, just pass the ball here and there and let them score. So, yeah, let's go to London with a bit of hope. But I mostly hope for an inter in an interesting match and an entertaining one because I don't think we'll get three points. So, see you for the match. Hello everyone, uh, Brian from Thailand. I'm lost for words. Performance-wise, it was absolutely pathetic. The game was useless. It was a pile of crap. Uh, Wolves performance. Fair due. Give credit to Brighton. They outplayed us. Uh, they deserved the win, but uh, our performance was was the worst of the season by a long way. They've had they've had a few indifferences uh, against Burnley, Palace, and and whatever, but this one was was off the off the rec off the charts, and I mean the lower end of the charts. It was absolutely pathetic. I can't even I can't even think of anybody who played well. Um, performance rating two. For turning up and uh, probably anybody who had a uh, man at a match was um, maybe Neto just for coming on at half time uh, but whew, relegation form God help us uh, trying to sign players next season uh, because they'll look at that and think oh no I don't want to go there but uh, it was just abysmal terrible um, Chelsea next week <laughs> good help us see you guys bye thanks everyone that contributed to this one Let's hope it's a happier one on the next one. I'm Dadlin Dave. Always Wolves.